Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy 2. That never gets old. Do we have a secret star here? No, we do not. Next. It's nothing really. That's just kind of like a checkpoint, I guess. Because it checks how many stars you got. You need three to get past them. You've got four. Yeah. So, here we have a Hungry Luma, if you recall those in the first game. They no longer appear in the overworld, but so you have to call them from the map screen. This one requires 300, if you, hadn't already, uh, if you didn't already know that. So yeah, another good thing, it's very quick to fill them up this time. Or quicker than the first game. So he transforms. And the forms an alternate path. Go back to the map screen. Alternate paths formed by Hungry Lumas will be pink, and we're going to visit the Flip Swap Galaxy. This is an awesome the this is an awesome idea. So our mission here is think before you shake. A direct reference to the Wii Mote, which is not often done in Mario, Mario games. We have an interesting level here, and it kind of, the title kind of gives it away. We have an interesting galaxy filled with blue and red paddles, as well as a blue luma. And he says, jump, spin, make him flip. It indicating to the gimmick that whenever you flick the Wiimote, the panels will flip. That's an, it makes for some very interesting and somewhat difficult puzzles. And when I say somewhat difficult, I do mean quite difficult. Ignoring the enemies there, because I can. Ignoring the one up there, because I can. These electrical gates are very stressful to work with, because they limit your movement. You can backflip jump over them, but that's a long and tedious process. Is it really? No. Okay, we can do a little scooby doot here. Wait for this giant chomp ball to roll on by. Scoot this. Scoot that. Boom. Alrighty then. The title Think Before You Shake could not be more true. If you're not very confident, oh god, like me, you can do it one panel at a time. But... Do you really want to do that? The Comet Medals are never really hidden very hard. Oh god, I'm dead. No, I'm not. I am not dead. Phew! Jeez, the fudging wheeze. Oh my god. Okay, that was all very close for comfort, because you can't spin, otherwise you're definitely doomed. Phew, okay. If it helps, always jump to an oppositely coloured panel. Because that way if you spin, you... Oh god. You can al uh, you can always guarantee a landing. You can kind of cheese this one out by doing... Not that... Oh god. Okay, I'm not going to cheese this one out. <laughs> Actually, maybe I can. Yes, I can. I can cheese this one out. And there we have it. There's the end of the level. It's kind of really mean here because it makes you long jump through here. Phew. Okay. Freaking out for a bit there. Boom! And there's our star. Quite challenging, surprisingly enough. Had me on my toes for a second. Okay, for a long time, actually. Yeah, that is fairly challenging. It got dark all of a sudden. Oh yeah, this is a little cutscene telling us something. Five stars. Comet medal times three. Sweet. Loads of medals. Uh, medals. Loads of menus to push A through. <laughs> so yeah, that star bunny there, the one we took, um, saw at the game is saved, woohoo, or the one we saw at the start of the level. Talk to him. Shake when you're in mid-jump, and spinning away, yeah, shake, really, shake the Wiimote when you're in, uh, I don't know why I'm reading stuff out, I'm awful at reading aloud, but he's just telling you that when you spin and spin in mid-air you get a little boost. Something you could have figured out the first time playing, but they decided just to point it out for you. I guess. Alright then, folks. In the next episode... That, uh, that was entirely optional, by the way. 
But the next episode, we are going to continue by going to the new galaxy we just unlocked in the, the last two, uh, the two episodes ago. So, I will see you then.